hi there collective good morning this is a message for whoever it resonates with the first card that i pulled was who decides whether you succeed or not listen to your inner guidance it's angel numbers 3333 333 and three that means jesus to me Okay, I asked what we needed to work on, and the card that came up was the boar and pumpkin and its confidence. So Spirit's encouraging us all to work on our confidence. I pulled two Archangel cards. We have Archangel Zadkiel with compassion. Be compassionate with your time, with yourself at this time. To soften your heart with respect to the situation and all people involved, including yourself. Know that you're on the right path, right? And then we have Archangel Azrael, and it's hello from heaven. So your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. To me, this signifies that the archangels are working with us all and guiding us on the path of our destination and... We're being encouraged to seriously pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities and uh, listen to our body. Pay more attention to our needs, what our body needs, what our mental space needs. We could be picking up on different energies that are around us because we're empaths and we are like a filter, you know, we just absorb negativity and uh, cleanse it and send out love and if it's too much for us to bear we give it to God and let God deal with it because God and Jesus and the archangels they're they're mighty mighty stronger than we are right that's what I am getting from this the goddess card Vesta is home is your household situation is improving either through a move or healthy change in the occupants your home life could be changing because you could be changing your attitude and looking at yourself differently now things are opening up and making a lot more sense as to why everything happens the way people react to you it's all making sense now and then we have Peel, Divine Passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? When God chooses you, it's almost impossible to turn away from your purpose and your drive. Because God will keep pushing you and pushing you to get on the path with him, to communicate with him, and to believe in him and keep your faith, right? It takes time. Some people have faith just like that, and some people it takes a little bit longer. But God's always available to us to help us out, as well as the angels, the archangels, our guides, our ancestors, and the goddesses, and Mother Earth. I pulled two cards from the, um, I think it's a forest oracle. It's Wild Rose Fairy, and it's Love, and it's card number 47, which goes to an 11. So, the love that you've shared is eternal. Um, you may have had some separations in your relationships. Just because there's separations doesn't mean you stop loving people, right? Um, you learn how to protect yourself. Say your prayers. You'll sleep better at night. I have a monitoring prayer on my channel here. It's really been helping. And I notice a lot of other channels have the same prayer. So it is working. It's working. I know for me it's working. I'm not feeling so heavy and weighed down, emotional, uh, disorientated, uh, confused, um, depressed, right? Any kind of depression or sickness or mm, 
feelings of greed or envy or jealousy or, or anything like that. Those are just the spirits of the devil, you know. Just cast them all out to the foot of the cross in the name of Jesus Christ. And they'll leave you. But you got to be adamant and do it daily. You may have to do it a few times throughout the day. Do it all with love. Because it teaches you something and it makes you stronger. And then we got Eagle Spirit and it's Freedom and it's card number 13. Your freedoms are very important, not only to you, but to the world. The whole world needs to have their freedoms. And that's what you're here to do. Wake people up, set them free, show them that their own inner power can take them anywhere they want to go. And do and be whatever they want to be. Then we have thank you. Have gratitude and appreciate what is sustaining you. Give thanks always, every day, to your Father, because without Him we could do nothing. Give thanks to the angels for watching over you. Give thanks to your ancestors. Maybe make a cake and put a piece, a piece of cake for them. Or put a piece of cake out in the garden and just let the birds eat it. You know, make a natural cake with natural ingredients, not a box cake. Then we got follow the stream. Dedication, trust, future, rivers, and oceans. So, Spirit's urging us all to focus on the environment and animals at this time. To give love, pour love into the earth, and um, help heal her. There's been many people here on the planet reaping and pillaging the planet as well. So we're being urged to pour back love into the environment. And then we have vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Remember to have self-care for yourself. Take some time out for yourself and just dedicate time for you and pour love into yourself because you've come a long way, baby. It's been a long road. And you deserve to be happy. You don't have to hide anymore. You're free. You got the backing of all the angels, all your ancestors. They support you every day. God and Jesus walk with you every day. You are protected, so know that. Do some self-care today. And we have animal bond. Stand up for all animals. Do whatever you can. You know, it could be simply thing as walking on the beach and picking up trash. You know, there's so much trash floating up from the oceans and rivers. You know, little pieces of string and plastic and stuff like that. If you're able to, when you go for your walk at the beach, take a bag with you and just pick up little bits and pieces of garbage that you find. Because to you it might seem small, but to an animal you could be saving their life, right? Animals are curious. They'll start picking at something that looks neat. And then the next thing you know, they're eating it. And then we have Get Grounded and Starseed. So you're being urged to stay grounded and not just live with your head in the clouds. We're empaths. We're highly sensitive. And we need to connect with nature always on a daily basis. Figure out what lights you up and follow that pathway and your days will get brighter and brighter the final card I'm going to pull, pull is from the good word it's let all you do be done in love and it's first Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14 so that's your reading for today God bless you collective God bless you today God bless you tomorrow God bless you always and if you haven't been told today, I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next upload.